Hello everyone, you are listening to Analytics Insight. I am Priya Dialani, Senior Editor at Analytics Insight and your host. Welcome to one more podcast where we talk about the ever-evolving technology space. Well, data is the most critical asset of any organization and businesses are faced with the imminent challenges of managing and governing data while ensuring data compliance. That data management is critical for every company to improve business agility with up-to-date information available anywhere, anytime to the employees who need it most. There are entire <coughs> ecosystems that grow perennially around big data and data analytics, which make enterprises aim for significantly critical tools to manage everyday data. Now, with businesses realizing the dynamism of what can be done with the data, they are moving on from their existing resources to well-equipped data centers to aid better data management. As the world's reliance on data-driven insights continues to increase, data centers are fueling the growth in the tech industry today. So today with us, we have Mr. Rajesh Gupta, Director, Country Manager, India Sales, Micron, a global semiconductor brand and a world leader in innovative memory solutions. Hi, Rajesh. How are you doing? Thank you, Priya. I'm fine. I hope you're, you're doing well. Thank you so much. Um, so before we start uh, 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 diving deep into data analytics and data center management, can you please help us, uh, listeners, uh, know about what is Micron, Micron Technology, its focus on the data storage and data center services it offers? Sure. So Micron is a global leader in memory and storage solutions. We are transforming the the way the world uses the information to reach life for all. Uh, Micron also is innovating and fueling uh, the demands for uh, for the data centers today. We play on two sides of the technologies, that is the memory and storage. So in the market, typically you see, you hear words like DRAM and uh, NAND based uh, products. We continue to drive newer and newer innovations, drive uh, new products uh, cycles, introducing new capacities for the data center uh, platforms. By doing these uh, innovations, Micron is also helping our customers to improve the storage efficiency uh, in the solutions. Uh, not only bring efficiency in the way the data is stored, stored captured, and managed, but also uh, in the future, protecting themselves, uh, you know, from all kinds of cyber challenges, uh, self-encrypting SSDs, uh, next and new generations of DRAM products, uh, so and so forth. So, Micron is one of the few companies uh, which plays on the entire spectrum of memory and storage uh, with the cutting edge solutions. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you for uh, giving such a uh, brief introduction about what Micron does and um, telling us about the services as well it offers. Um, now, the usage of data centers has scaled up from the size of a room to the size of a commercial tower, giving room to accommodate this increased need of storage. Besides storage, data centers have been designed to cover the demands of the clientele. The modern data centers have become a crucial part of the IT infrastructure, and any form of interruptions in a data center can lead to a tremendous loss for the constitution of any organization. Now, since we're talking about the changes in data management and the growth of data centers, I'm sure your role towards the country, towards the company has also been immense. So can you talk about your proactive role and your contribution towards the company as well as the industry? Absolutely. So as I just mentioned, Micron uh, is one of the leading players uh, in the memory and storage uh, industry. And we cover both the uh, product ranges, that is the memory in terms of DRAM products, as well as uh, storage solutions, that is uh, using the NAND technologies. First on the, on the, on the memory side, uh, in any computing solution, memory is, is, a, is a very important and significant part of the of the system design. And uh, Micron has been a, a leader and on the forefront of this technology. Micron is almost uh, as, a, as a history of 40 years, history of innovation in the, in the memory uh, 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 technology world. And very recently, uh, we launched our DDR5 products. Uh, what, the, what would a, a DDR5 kind of a technology do? This will address the, the current issues of 
gigabyte per uh, per core that is being faced by the by in, in the computing platforms right as what happens is as the computing is becoming more and more uh, robust and uh, the cpu performance continues to peak uh, one of the bottleneck uh, is the cpu to uh, to to the memory uh, connectivity and bandwidth so innovation on on that front uh, would immediately impact the the, the productivity and the in, in, uh, improvement in the in the system efficiency so today's uh, computing infrastructure uh, really requires uh, you know that innovation and uh, and micron is on the forefront of it second part uh, on the storage side uh, very recently uh, micron was one of the first companies to launch a 176 layer 3d nand technology based uh, products what it allows uh, to do uh, is to pack far more higher densities uh, in the store in the solid state Uh, storage uh, uh, products the ssds which ultimately bring the total cost of ownership down you mentioned about uh, increase of the data center sizes from from like you know few servers or a room to to you know uh, data centers which require large uh, real estate buildings and then you know whatever comes along with that now what happens is the uh, as the data center sizes have have become mammoth uh, it, it it results in uh, infrastructure requirements and challenges like power consumption there are data centers whose power consumption need is as good as a, as a small city in some uh, in, in an emerging country so that's the kind of scale uh, that is needed to to run the massive data centers we have now consuming uh, more power is one part when these drives consume more power they require say very uh, heavy uh, investment in air conditioning to keep the infrastructure cool so that increases the carbon footprint plus it adds uh, to the significant cost of running the operations and that's not enough this uh, uh, drives then keep generating more and more uh, heat which may makes managing the infrastructure more and more difficult so that is when the, con- the consistent innovation from companies like micron uh, come to the aid and uh, with this uh, with for example with 776 layer uh, these 3d nand based ssds we are able to pack far higher densities uh, into the into a drive the drive footprint goes down in the past in order to save on cost uh the choice uh, in in a very large data center would be to pack more and more of mechanical drives right those full generation uh, hard disk drives that that have a motor that spin they generate more uh, more uh, more heat they require more power to run and then obviously because they are mechanical drive uh, drives running at 15000 rpm or 10000 rpms their speed is is very limited so that is where the newest generation uh, uh, products for example a micron 93 9300 series ssds which are based on some of the latest uh, nand technology that i talked about uh, come to the rescue of so essentially the size of the server the storage racks goes down solid state drives consume a fraction of power that the mechanical drives uh, consume so that so your power consumption goes down because these are solid state they generate less heat so that means your air conditioning and air infrastructure upkeep upkeep cost goes down and then you need lesser and lesser real estate because you don't really need uh, that much of square feet uh, to pack more and more uh, server racks and uh, sorry storage racks so the footprint comes down significantly power consumption comes down by almost 33% throughput increases by 35% so these kind of innovations uh, from micron are really helping the data center uh, managers to then focus on adding more capability and and uh, often more uh, uh, add more uh, performance they are able to store more and then the overall uh, cost per gigabyte goes down so that 
this is uh, you know one way uh, micron is really uh, innovating and and contributing towards development of new data center technologies bringing the cost downs and and bringing the efficiencies up long answers but i i thought i just wanted to share the perspective definitely yeah. i think that was very much needed and uh, be it long uh, be it a long answer i think um, the way you explain how micron has been uh, helping in increasing of the efficiencies and lowering down the cost is quite beneficial and i think that's that's something that we really need towards the industry today as well now um the technology uh, pushes the core processing functions to the specific location when it is often needed at the edges of the network which builds it possible to gather and study data on position instead of transporting the information back to the centralized cloud for computation so can you tell us about how um, micron is using disruptive technologies like cloud artificial intelligence and big data and how the company is benefiting its clients as well uh, correct so as you mentioned um, as we uh, the newer business models or newer models service models that are emerging uh, we see continuous and increased deployment of all kinds of edge devices we see a uh, very rapid growth of uh, iot based uh, solutions and then uh, with the emergence of edge based devices and iot uh, all the issues that i mentioned about the older generation uh, data center designs where you have all your computing and storage at a central data center get the information uh, from the edges process and then transmit the analyzed information back so as you mentioned with the uh, what is required to then fulfill the requirements of the emerging Uh, architectures that means you must have miniaturized uh, uh, products so the memory and storage size should reduce so that it can uh, you know we can have in uh, iot devices or edge devices which can then get that additional compute as well as memory right now uh, how would an edge edge based uh, or any distributed a database uh, or processing system will work that means there has to be storage and memory at the edge device as well as obviously uh, in the in the data center uh, at the back end in the past because of the larger uh, die size and hence the larger size of the chip or having a mechanical storage device which is large which requires a motor to run uh, it really put limitation to the kind of uh a uh, handheld device you could have or uh, you know uh, you know in terms of uh, bringing capabilities into the iot what micron's innovations do is to address those issues i have already talked about our 176 uh, layer 3d nand based storage solutions right so how will that put uh, uh, help we are able to now produce uh, storage solutions which are very small in footprint and as i mentioned because they are solid state obviously they consume very less they require very less energy because any handheld device any iot or any edge device uh, you will always have a challenge of battery or you are using those devices in a remote location or on the go also right so you have issue of both uh, energizing the product or if you are running through the battery then the battery life and then the small footprint so our latest uh, nand solutions address that and then i mentioned about Uh, a plethora of products that we have so ddr5 is the latest product then we have an entire range of dnan products which are called lp ddr lp stands for uh, low power ddr so they are they are designed and architected in a manner that they really consume very little uh, little amount of energy so that then allows you to pack enough or necessary memory and necessary storage in the in the edge device so that you capture the data and in the emerging uh, uh, solutions in the emerging data center solutions as we discussed edge computing is becoming more and more prominent and that is only possible if the edge device has a has decent amount of memory and storage capability so that you know if the data that is captured can be processed locally 
then it does not need to travel all the way back, choking the network, uh, both public and private, and then also clogging the the backend data center, which must be doing some, uh, which must be involved or which must be occupied in in managing so many other aspects. So the so these innovations, miniaturization, and in architecting uh, very special DRAM products and NAND products for the edge computing uh, resolves the 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 issues of developing those products and hence and then uh, you know with those products we are seeing more and more uh, a deployment of uh, the the edge uh, network based uh, based solutions and uh, that is only going to grow and uh, last but not the least during the recent pandemic time frame uh, when there are issues of transportation and there are, there are restrictions in travel Anyway, a larger part of industry has really felt the need uh, to deploy more and more of uh, edge solutions wherever possible, so that you know you can gather the the data uh, at the edge and, and and process it and dispose of uh, the result in a more efficient manner. So, innovations in summary: innovations in low power DDR designs and uh, uh, latest generation. Uh, very high density, low power consuming NAND based solutions. We are now able to bring out those uh, those products that then the IoT industry and the edge products industry can, can easily use, architect uh, their uh, their solutions, and then that can be can be deployed in in a very wide uh, areas of business models. Great, yeah. thank you so much, Rajesh, for uh, for. Um giving such a comprehensive answer and telling our users that how micro technology and the products uh, that um, the company creates is helping solve the issues of developing products and also talking about how edge computing and how Micron is playing an important part in terms of edge computing. Um, now, with the continuous growth in the industry, it is believed that the organizations in all sectors will consider that the money is to be made in owning data centers. Now, many businesses are expected to branch out in a data center business, making the industry even more massive and competitive. So we can expect the data centers to emerge in many more locations, especially in fields that uh, receive massive amounts of information processing and business transactions. Now, having said that, uh, what, what are your views on how a Micron is innovative? What makes the company innovative? And are there any key partnerships or involvement done uh, to drive the innovation? Sure. So, Priya, as, as I already mentioned that uh, Micron has this unique history, 40 years history of innovation in the, in the memory uh, technology and how we are constantly innovating both on the memory and storage by, uh, side, how Micron continues to play that role uh, at, a, at a much wider level is firstly what we do in-house, right? We are, a, we are one of the biggest and most uh, important uh, research and development engine on the, on the memory and storage side. As I, as I mentioned, we are on the forefront of working with the ecosystem, looking into, into the market, looking at where the trends are, and obviously working with the fellow travelers and the ecosystem and figuring out what, the, what are the needs of tomorrow and then developing products, uh, the memory and storage products that would fulfill that requirements. LPDDR, DDR5, latest NAND-based, 3D NAND-based, 176-layer 3D NAND-based solutions I already, already spoke about. One more recent example, uh, almost maybe a, almost a year back. For example, as we have seen, uh, a very rapid growth of, uh, you know, graphics, gaming uh, our platforms. Uh, as a leader in the memory technology, Micron also realized that the, the needs of the memory design for, for the graphic intensive loads and for the very, uh, on the consumer side, the gaming kinds of apps are very different than a very traditional compute solution. But what, uh, these are not new industries, right? Uh, these, these, Industries and these solutions have been uh, in the market for decades, but in absence of any other uh, better solution, they have been using the memory that is available uh, in the market. So Micron again was on the forefront. Uh, we made uh, announcements. I, I think Nish can correct me. Almost a year back, where we worked with Nvidia, we launched a very graphic-specific 
memory uh, architecture which was called GDDR6, right? So DDR5 is the traditional memory. So DDR1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are the DDR generations that uh, that we are. We are launched. We have launched DDR5, which is the most recent on the compute traditional compute side. But on the graphics and uh, uh, on that side of the of the industry, we launched uh, a solution called graphics focused memory. So that was the term is GDD, GDDR6. That is another example of uh, innovation that we do in very specific segments. At a larger level, Micron is a member of almost all key leading industry and ecosystem uh, alliances. Like, for example, uh, we are members of uh, CXL, that is the new generation uh, of you know, there is a new generation of uh, memory technology. Uh, all industry industry bodies like IEEE, uh, PCIe Gen 4, Gen 5, right? So there are many uh, generic industry bodies where all the key industry leaders are coming together, uh, exchanging notes and working on the technologies uh, of tomorrow. So we are parts of, uh, we are members of all those uh, fora. And then we make our contribution then by focusing on the memory and storage part of it. Similarly, we also work with all key other ecosystem players, uh, all the key CPU CPU uh, companies, uh, and I, as I mentioned, uh, the companies which are innovating on the graphics side. And then working together, uh, you know, we collaborate and then we come out with products and solutions, which will which will help build. The, a more efficient next generation uh, platform. Because every key member, right, a, a platform has four or five key components. There is a compute engine, there is a CPU in it, there is memory and storage, then there are input and output devices. So, uh, and there are lead players uh, in almost all these uh, subsystems. So, Micron uh, makes contribution uh, in the overall industry by participating in these. Uh, these innovative discussions and engagements, and then making our uh, contribution by bringing our respective uh, parts, which would either be a memory product or a NAND-based storage product. That's how we uh, we make our contributions. Quite impressive, Rajesh. Yeah. I think um, that um, the uh, products or the innovations that are done at Micron are quite impressive and they hold immense potential in solving and addressing um, storage and computing issues. Uh, moreover, we all will be looking forward to more such innovations in Micron and seeing the advancements in the field of um, computing and storage solutions. Um, so moving ahead, um, most enterprises are uh, embracing, uh, you know, uh, cutting edge solutions after understanding the crucial role data plays uh, in the growth of the ventures. And just like I mentioned, how computing and storage solutions are important, they're also entering into the business and technology realm. So um, enterprises are increasingly become, uh, becoming aware of managing their company from the prospect of fetching more resources to utilize high potential and growth opportunities. Having said that, uh, we would like to know your uh, point of view on the current scenario of the data storage industry uh, right now. So uh, data storage industry is possibly a, is in one of the uh, best times uh, in, the, in, the, in the recent past, precisely because of the, uh, the almost uh, rapid growth uh, in deployment of uh, storage uh, infrastructure. So as you mentioned, uh, having, you know, the, you know as, as you just mentioned, uh, in, in every industry or in, in every corporation, now there is uh, a very well-established understanding and a requirement of uh, investing into, into the storage solutions, into the data center, uh, either having an in-house uh, service or having uh, a mix of in-house as well as uh, cloud-based uh, solution. One thing is very clear, the emerging models will require data center services. 
so for the storage industry that is that is uh, an, an important uh, that is not only an impo- opportunity but it's a challenge also right so that means uh, we need to be ready uh, we have to look at uh, we have to be able to forecast the demand and requirement in a more accurate manner we need to be able to judge the the where the technology is headed and then ensure that the products are made, uh, made not only made available but uh, the designs are validated uh, widespread solutions are available and obviously uh, uh, the solutions are more effective uh, as we go forward so uh, in, for the storage and memory industry this is a, a very good uh, a time uh, we we see robust growth uh for both memory as well as uh, nand based solutions and that is uh, motivating uh, us to sort of you know uh, increase efforts both on our technology development as well as uh, in our own uh, respective manufacturing uh, capabilities our supply chains and our own uh, overall business models but in in net net uh, you know if you were in the storage and memory industry you uh, this would be uh, one of the best times to be i completely agree with you rajesh that uh, this right now is a current uh, uh, the current era is so fruitful in terms of storage and um, memory solutions that with ever increasing data we need ever increasing storage and memory solutions as well um so um you know you have been talking about how micron has been developing and innovating products since last 40 years and i'm sure uh, listening to uh, to your thoughtful um insights the 40 years that you have uh, uh, the company has been into has been really terrific uh, nonetheless i'm sure that the journey hasn't been uh, as simple as it sounds so um i'm sure uh, there are a couple of challenges that you must have faced some obstacles and hurdles so can you tell us about uh, your challenges and hurdles to our listeners and how probably have over- come at them over time sure no journey is uh, complete without the uh, regular ups and downs so like everybody else uh, micron had would have had its fair share of uh, challenges i would say uh, focus on the most most recent times uh, i think most recent times first uh, one of the challenge that we have uh, we have faced as as industry as an individual company as well as industry is the external factor uh, we are in the in in the covid times and uh, which uh, last year has been very disruptive uh, while uh, you know everybody was uh, figuring out uh, what to expect uh, we had to keep the business running we had to keep massive operations uh, uh, running in an environment where transportation uh, was challenged where logistics was challenged uh, and uh, memory and uh, uh, memory and storage industry is an extremely manufacturing sensitive uh, operation you know we uh, the core of our business is a fab uh, where you know even a uh, 30 uh, um, a second of disruption in any utilities can be can be a, a disaster so in uh, plus our footprint is global we have our manufacturing our uh, supply chain is is very well diversified almost all over the world but in a connected in a normal time everything works in with precision but in a period in a last uh, 12 months for example uh, one of it has been a big challenge for uh, for a company of our size and scale to ensure that everything uh, works in a seamless manner so that has been uh, that is one challenge that we have faced there were some other internal challenges we spoke recently about uh, some power outage in one of our taiwan uh, plant which we were able to mitigate the issues uh, very quickly but then uh, those are external factors uh, like you know the very recent earthquake and uh, uh, in again in taiwan and in the, that part of the world brought a little bit of uh, pressure in our, our systems so these are some of the very recent uh, uh, challenges that we have faced but then you know in a long journey uh, the difference between good and great companies is that you know we were prepared and uh, we have enough contingencies uh, plans built in 
so the so we are able to sort of mitigate uh, the is- risks whether it external as much possible and uh, internal to the best of uh, our plans and and abilities and keep our, our business running so while we had these challenges the good thing is uh, throughout the year uh, micron uh, was able to uh, run a near flawless uh, uh, operation uh, we were able to supply across uh, across the world and not only that in that period as i said we also launched some of the, the cutting edge products so it was a mixed batch back yes there were challenges but uh, i think we were able to uh, work through that with with adequate planning and uh, uh, investment surely i think um, a covid 19 pandemic has been a challenge for every business and uh, for uh, even for an individual for that matter and um, the most important lesson that probably you have put across is no matter what difficult the challenges are we really need to overcome them and making sure that we you don't g- give up and keep on innovating new products to address all the issues that you have been addressing since the last 40 years So one last question Rajesh for you and that would be how do you see the industry ahead and the outlook of businesses So uh, yeah, one good thing about pandemics and downturns is uh, they end sooner or later and uh, but when they end industry as a whole individuals as as people learn important uh, lessons a uh, lot of issues that were not visible or uh, uh, you know gaps in the systems or solutions from a particularly from the business side which were not business or uh, which were not visible or which were not exposed or uh, become visible and then what happens is so when you when we are in uh, when we start recovering uh, is when the in companies uh, start bridging those gaps and holes so that is where uh, you know future invest uh, good investments are made your in, uh, your overall infrastructure is upgraded new capabilities are built in and uh, and that means overall no matter which part of the industry you are uh, there is going to be increased opportunity because uh, the downturn will be followed by a cycle of uh, investment and all uh, leading companies all uh, uh companies which are in the forefront of their businesses uh, will use this uh, opportunity to make further investment in their infrastructure uh, etc so so we believe that uh, as we get into the recovery over a period of time there is an opportunity and all of us uh, uh, should look uh, uh, in the, the look at the recovery period as a time of opportunity where we uh, it is up to us to take the the newer innovative solutions newer cost effective solutions that we have that uh, our customers can now utilize and bridge the gaps that they have identified in their respective uh, operations so that is one generic part other uh, key elements are the pandemic obviously has opened up or expedited certain things which would have taken more years to come up take work from home for example we all talk about it many of us at this point of time are working from home uh, and that meant that you know most companies had to revamp their infrastructure uh, we were talking about our vpn tunnels uh, many organizations never had that much of vpn capability uh, so that thousands of employees could simultly simultaneously use that infrastructure but now most most organizations have realized that this is new normal so investments will be made in in the internal data center and internal it infrastructure that is an opportunity it has also expedited the growth of some of the newer segments virtual conferencing uh, uh, for example right uh, during the last 9 months i haven't seen many physical face to face seminars exhibitions conferences happening but many of them uh move move virtual now that would all require huge amount of uh technology both back end as well as at the edge network uh as well as compute so another point of opportunity e learning for example right with schools remaining shut most of the education uh in k to 12 uh and beyond 
during the last year was delivered online. Many believe that you know part of that might, might, might continue for some more time. And even when we get into normal times, that mode of learning uh, that so many new people have become used to might just continue in some form or other. So, but that has opened up and again another uh, new business model, new opportunity. Detail. Uh, uh, many of us during uh, this period last year we experienced uh, Delhi goes to a complete shutdown uh, tomorrow and, and day after tomorrow. So if you if you have an urgent need, the only way you 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 can get that is via uh, via an e-tail channel. So e-tail is no longer you know a luxury or a, a lifestyle choice. Uh, it has it has also become necessary. So increase in e-commerce, increase in uh, e-tail uh, opens up yet another uh, opportunity. Uh, if, uh, in the market, in the industry. Then digitization. I think, uh, again, it, digitization is not a new word. This is not a new technology. Digitization has been going on for a long period of time, even in India. We may be into almost our third decade when digitization is happening everywhere. Private industry, government, public services, right? wherever, uh, as Indians, most of our services uh, today are available to us in a digital uh, manner. So, digital digitization was not is not a new concept, but the pandemic has just forced the the pace at which it is going to be uh, uh, required and deployed going forward. So, this will again require not only utilization of more IT infrastructure, but augmentation of uh, uh, that structure. Next uh, is uh, you know, on the emerging models, like uh, I would mention autonomous vehicles, for example. Autonomous vehicles, uh, again, require much more amount of compute, much more amount of memory and storage, uh, you know, than a traditional, that your traditional car today po uh, possibly has. Going forward, the ADAS, the advanced dashboard systems that we have, uh, we'll have more and more sophisticated compute as well as uh, storage capability. Finally, if I if I sum it up, I think we are seeing uh, a time where, partly because of the ongoing efforts, partly because of pandemic, partly because of far more increased pace of deployment just forced by uh, the external environment, uh, we will see a more opportunity both on end-to-end -end data center right up to uh, up, up to the edge newer devices newer usage models newer service newer service models and hence uh, increased opportunity uh, for all of us for us in the storage industry and for micron in particular because we are in the forefront of memory and storage uh, technology and playing in the end-to-end -end arena we believe uh, no, we not, not only have that opportunity, but we have this. Uh, we have the uh, capability of driving the newer uh, architectures and newer usage models, and 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 make our contribution to expedite, uh, uh, you know, this migration. So I would say I would end uh, at a positive note. I think the challenge and uh, and the pandemic. Uh, has not only made us learn some lessons, but I think any downturn, any downturn, uh, you know, uh, an, a period of opportunity, and it is important that you know uh, we are ready for it, and and and, and uh, we make more, we make most of it. Thank you. Definitely. I think that was quite insightful, Rajesh. Thank you so much. And um, yes, I completely agree with you that it's really important to find an opportunity even in the challenging times and how we can turn around and pivot around to make sure we are growing and uh, creating new products and solutions. So uh, yes, it was quite insightful. So thank you so much, Rajesh, for taking out time and being on our podcast. I'm sure our listeners are going to like about it and uh, uh, are really going to emphasize on the thoughts and insights that you have shared.
Thank you so much. So listeners, watch this space for more podcasts. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for insightful videos and podcasts. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you.